The Kingdom Army crosses the Great Bridge of Murden a second time, moving south through Grander Field. However, in order to reach Anvar, they must first seize the impregnable Fort Mercius. Fort Mercius, said to rival Arian Road, the Silver Maiden. Perhaps a head-on siege was a foolish plan after all. No, you're right that it's the only way. I don't think the Death Knight would have fallen for any tricks. Even if they are denied supplies, they could hold a fortress like this for months. And we cannot discount the possibility that they will receive more reinforcements if our siege is delayed. <sighs> yes, my thoughts exactly. And we have no option but to do the best we can. Say, Professor, in the past, it seemed like the Death Knight took some strange satisfaction from his fights with you. He's an unpredictable opponent, a dangerous one. Please proceed with caution. Of course. You were the heart of the Blue Lions, and the same holds true for the Kingdom Army. Mercedes. So, the Death Knight really is inside that fortress. Dear Emil. I want you to know that no one is forcing you to battle with us at the front lines. I support whatever you decide. Please stop. We can't have you saying that. You and I are the same after all. We both have to fight our family for the good of the world. And since that's the way it is, I couldn't live with myself if I was the only one running away from this battle. I will bring Emil back to his senses. I must. I'm his big sister after all. Understood. Stay safe out there, Mercedes. That man approaches. Report! The main gate has been breached. You are finally here. Will Death's Scythe claim you? Or will I fall to that sword of yours? And Mercedes... Here you are as well. Even though we smashed the main gate, Fort Mercius is still an ironclad fortress. And the enemy commander is the Death Knight. We must not falter in our assault. I now see why they call this keep impregnable. Everywhere you turn is defensive weaponry. We must capture all of those locations as we push forward. If even one of them takes a shot at you, we will be in trouble. Ready when you are. Prepare yourself! I shall not stray.
I'd be honored. I must steal myself. My orders? Thank you. What's my strategy? What's the plan? Leave it to me. I am prepared. I'll cut through. At your service. I'm your girl. To come. Must be so.
You took me lightly. Until we meet again. I aim for greatness. Expect no less. You were unprepared. It's my duty. Is your death. Not yep. quite. I've got you figured out. <laughs> I aim for greatness. Practice is paying off. Worrisome. 
They have a leader capable of summoning reinforcements. If we find and strike down that person, we can prevent further interruptions. Another victory. just stronger. That took... Steal myself. <laughs> Don't bother haunting me. to be done. Uh, 
I must steal myself. There will be no further reinforcements from this side. However, the other side is still in action. If they call in more reinforcements, we'll be in great danger. We must take down the other commander as well. And fast! We should not have to worry about any more reinforcements crashing the party. Nice form. This could turn the tides.
shall not stray. My duty is your death. Let's return together, Emil. Leave. The place of your death is not here. I have an idea. I dare stand against you, Death Knight. Death is all that remains. I'm a fighter. It's our chance to prevail. I'll use this power for the greater good. The enemy general has been vanquished. Everyone, move to gain control of the keep. Victory is ours. Raise the banner of the knights. May it soar proudly over the impregnable fortress. Oh, I have to meet... I have to meet Emil. for leaving you behind when I left House Bartels. I should have gone back for you sooner. <sighs> I'm sorry for not being a better sister to you. Mercedes. Please forgive me, Emil. Mercy, we need to go. Now. Goodbye. Your Highness, our capture of the fortress is complete. Now the path to the Imperial Capital is finally open to us. Once we have finished cleaning up after the battle, 
Let's have another meeting to discuss our next move. Naturally, but it matters not. Consider this. Once this war is over, the mountain of official business on my plate will be even taller. If I can't handle at least this much, how will I... Pardon the interruption. We've just received a letter from Margrave Gautier. Very well. I will read it at once. I see. It seems the conflict within Fargus has at last come to an end. Yes, Your Highness. Margrave and the other Eastern Lords are at the center of it, and are gathering the Kingdom's military forces even now. They intend to join with the Alliance Army, and send troops and supplies to the Monastery. What do you know? My old man is really pulling his weight. Did he seem well? Yes. As well as can be expected. He has taken it upon himself to bring order back to our troubled territory, while His Highness is away. I am truly in the Margrave's debt. I will be sure to thank him properly at first opportunity. Thank you for the information. Now tell me, did it seem to you that my presence was needed back at the monastery? Well, I do have a verbal message from the Margrave on the subject. A verbal message? How strange. The other day, he arrested one of Viscount Kleiman's men. And, well... The prisoner has claimed involvement in the tragedy of Dusker. He has implicated his lord as well. Go on. I was told they would be transporting this man to the monastery, along with the troops and supplies. The Margrave said that regardless of the credibility of the man's testimony, how he should be dealt with was your decision alone, your highness. Very well. All that considered, I will return to the monastery at once. Will you come with me, Professor? Thank you.